Just as Huainan has its bean curd, so too does Chongqing have its signature food item. But unlike bean curd, this one is chock full of ingredients that would usually end up in the kitchen bin. In Chongqing, however, poultry innards, duck intestines, cow stomachs and other discards end up on Chinese dining tables. These exotic spare parts are dunked in a fiery red-hot soup made from over 20 spices and a generous serving of chili. This hotter-than-hell concoction is the famous Chongqing Spicy Hot Pot, and it attracts food lovers from all over. With over 1,000 hotspot eateries around, the Chongqing Spicy Hot Pot is a way of life among locals. <laughs> From small towns to the big city, it is a culinary invention that brings people together in an atmosphere of boisterous camaraderie. It's almost as if this hot and spicy dish melts away inhibitions, making people more raucous and animated. At any rate, Chongqing's spicy hot pot usually means a good time for all. Chongqing火锅实际上对全国人民是一种实放 place of the spicy hot pot is a modern port city with an ancient 3,000 year old history. It is situated at the confluence of the Yangtze and Chaoling rivers, making the winters in the city cold, damp and misty. Seems to reason why the city of 30 million is hot for things spicy. The original hot pot had already existed in China for thousands of years. But the spicy hot pot Chongqing is famous for is said to have been created in the early 20th century by port workers who worked and lived by the piers along the two rivers. To fight off the numbing effects of the cold damp of winter, they tossed leftover cow innards into a pot of boiling water. For good measure, they would season this boiling broth with copious amounts of hot pepper, chili and ginger. This was the earliest version of the spicy hot pot. Over time, the simple pleasures of this dish caught on, and soon the residents of Chongqing could enjoy it in restaurants. While most Chongqing residents are fanatical about their hot pot, none are as deeply passionate about this dish as Nier Gan Ru. He not only loves eating it, he also runs a business producing the fiery hot sauce. But Nier's passion for hot pot extends even further. He is also a serious collector of the hot pot vessel. <laughs> Nier began collecting hot pots more than a decade ago, and after accumulating more than 600 pieces of hot pot and related items, he set up the first hot pot museum in China. Dinh. 
The earliest hotpots were simple earthenware vessels, nothing as fancy as those which came later. In time, bronze replaced earthenware, and the hotpot became more than just a functional cooking pot. It began to have cultural and artistic significance for both royalty and the common man. Table settings like this one from the Qing Dynasty give visitors to the museum a different perspective on China's history, one that is chronicled by the hot pot. The degree of artistic complexity in the design of a hot pot identified one standing in the pecking order of imperial Chinese society. As much as the hot pot represents valuable nuggets of China's past, it has also lent itself to innovation and commercialization. All that was needed were some inspired ideas. Whether it's creating different recipes for fiery hot soups or adding new ingredients to spice up the hot pot menu, in a city full of hot pot eateries, success often depends on being different. The Xiaoten Er Hot Pot Restaurant often leads the way by finding new and exciting ways to package the hot pot dining experience. This 20-year-old upmarket eatery is where a very clever new hot pot design was introduced in 1984. It was an innovation that reached a segment of the market that hadn't taken to the hot pot, those who didn't enjoy spicy food. The ingenious new hot pot had two compartments, one for spicy soup, the other for something milder. <laughs> Hao 能不能够变成也像长江或江江江江水一样,一个是红的,一个是青的啦。The Xiao Ten Er restaurant regularly raises the stakes in the hot pot business. In this instance, it's added another item to the lunchtime hot pot menu, live entertainment a popular added incentive for hot pot lovers. Because in a city where competition for the taste buds of hot pot lovers is stiff, every little bit of added excitement helps. <laughs> the added excitement has certainly helped her young chair. Her inventiveness with this traditional Chinese dish has not only made her hugely successful, but it's made the Chongqing Spicy Hot Pot a Chinese culinary icon and a trendy modern dining experience that's traveled beyond Chongqing. So, I think the Chongqing Yuan Hot Pot is a very important part of Chongqing as a Chongqing Yuan Hot Pot. Because the Chongqing Yuan Hot Pot is the most important part of the world and the most important part of the world. From the glitziest of restaurants in bustling cities to the humblest of homes in small villages, the dining table is where families and friends gather to forge their sense of community and belonging. This has been the way for thousands of years.
But the dining table is also a compendium of China's culinary history, showcasing the best of Chinese inventiveness and innovation. As significant as these innovations are, is the fact that even after thousands of years, they are still a part of everyday life and celebrated by the people who proudly keep this legacy alive in culinary China.